and uh, he, you know Gensler there talking about this wide variety of tokens and projects. Now, your business mostly lending against Bitcoin uh, and transacting uh, to some degree with a, your platform uh, in uh, in other uh, in Bitcoin largely. Uh, how does that bear on what you do? This idea that there's going to be increased scrutiny around everything that's grown up uh, around this whole micro economy. Yeah, it's a great question. I appreciate the opportunity to be with you this morning. Uh, you know, we have been, we at Silvergate have been banking this ecosystem for a little over eight years. And um, when we started in January of 2014, it was Bitcoin only. A, a, a lot of these other tokens didn't even exist. There were some white papers out there, but it was a Bitcoin industry. And it, it's very interesting to, um, to hear um, from the SEC that, you know, still, Bitcoin is different from everything else out there. Um, and as a regulated financial institution, Silvergate uh, complies, obviously, um, with all of the federal and state regulations. And um, we essentially need our customers. We require them to comply as well. And so we only bank institutions who are also serious about regulation. So ironically, um, we actually welcome this. Presumably, some of your borrowers uh, maybe are also involved or connected in some way to those people doing some things in decentralized finance, maybe some of this yield farming. I would just imagine that stress in one part of the system might come back uh, to, to create some credit issues for you. Have you seen anything like that? Sure. So we've absolutely seen no credit issues at Silvergate, um, and that is because we only lend against Bitcoin. Bitcoin is is essentially, as we, as I just mentioned, different than anything else. Um, and it, it, it has the longest track record. It's, it's been operating uninterrupted with 100% uptime since 2013. And it is the only collateral that, that we're comfortable lending against in this ecosystem. And because we're always over collateralized, um, when um, there's a lot of dislocation and volatility in this market, uh, we have the ability through our SEND platform, which um, operates 24-7 and allows our customers to draw on their lines of credit against their Bitcoin, but also pay down their lines and also pledge additional Bitcoin collateral 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So I completely acknowledge the um, volatility and some of the credit issues, especially for those who were lending unsecured. Silvergate is mm -hmm. a secured lender and it's Bitcoin only. In your view, then, quickly, if this whole thing kind of reduces down back to Bitcoin where it was, has all of the sort of Web.3 uh, uh, type of rhetoric been just overblown? Is that going to get swept away? Yeah, that's really a little bit above my pay grade. I, you know, yeah. we, we focus on, um, on what we understand and, and on the risks that we believe we understand and know how to mitigate. Um, and, mm -hmm. and that's why a lot of this other stuff in crypto um, is a technology experiment. And until it gets to the same level of, you know, at, that Bitcoin has, has succeeded, um, yeah. we'll likely stand back and only provide deposit services to those companies. Alan, I uh, appreciate the time. Thank you very much.